Jesus was born. So when Jesus was born, physically, the house physically was born. And Jesus was physical when he resurrected, isn't it? The very misconception of those who witnessed Jesus was his ghost. <laughs> and Jesus who threw it said, you know, see, look at my hands, look at my feet. And Jesus even said, give me something to eat. Or do you have anything there to eat? To prove that he is indeed as physical as he was. So, we wonder that. Now, no, Jesus was so physical, it can be seen, it can be touched, and he was with them even eating, but Jesus was hardly recognized. Even now, he starts to struggle. Why don't we see and recognize the presence of Jesus easily? When we look at Easter, you know, you really recognize Jesus in, in your life, in my life. I must admit, not so easily, even myself. I don't claim to see God or Jesus risen in all my experiences, in everywhere I go, in every people that I encounter. Really, ganon, hindi ganon kadali na talagang buhay si Christo na nakikin ako. That is a very good question. That was the struggle of his disciples. And that is still our struggle. Even if we easily say, Hallelujah, Jesus is alive. But do you really see, feel, experience Jesus being alive? Now, Perhaps the struggle of the apostles and disciples, the followers of Jesus, is the same struggle that we have. They were looking at the resurrection always from their own perspective. And Jesus has to make them understand that everything that happened to Jesus, everything that Jesus did, was never about himself, was never for his own sake. Did not go by the of the human. And perhaps that is one thing that we must always learn from. You know, you want ask God, how do we view things? Always from our own perspective. Most of the time, selfish perspective. And that is why we miss Jesus. But it's not only how things are. When you look at everything, even when you look at someone posting in Facebook, or when you look at an event, kung ano ang nangyari, you always view it from your own perspective. And most of the time, when we view things from our own perspective, we always ask, kung sa man ang para sa atwalika, what's in it for me? How will I be blessed? What will I get? What will I gain? And that thing is everything. Because the disciples of Jesus even approached the resurrection in that way. They were still self-centered, focused on their own fear, focused on their own hopes and dreams, but never about opening their hearts, their minds, to what God intended them to be. That's our struggle. It's not easy. Is it? Why God is not easily seen in our lives? Because we always view it from our own perspective, from our own side. So we limit the presence of God. In fact, we miss God's presence. We miss His resurrection. We miss um, the many Miracles, appearances of Jesus. But there are, you know, obvious things that will remind us that God is really present. In what sense? You know, sometimes, as much as we are so grown ourselves, focused on the Bible, 
their experiences that really helps us, their experiences that remind us of God, what are these? One of these experiences is, you know, really the experience of being loved. Up to now, there is one significant experience I always remember. I was not yet a priest and this happened like 14 years ago or 8, 16 years ago. I was still a seminarian and part of our training is to, during summer, is to be sent to many crazy places. So one summer in 2007, 2007, so more 15 years ago, um, we were assigned a place in Davao, Venezuela. For one month, we always had to go around and visit uh, communities, places. So we had to walk two, three hours just to, just to visit uh, a house. Ang layo ng lahat-lahat namin, pupunta kami sa bayan na pupuntahan. These are vast mountains and houses are very few. But we had to visit these houses. So in one hour walk, and it happened, I believe, it was Easter. We celebrated Easter Sunday. Uh, of course, there was no place, but we had some liturgy. And then on Easter morning, the next day, we had to continue our usual visit to one house or two houses. I was walking with a fellow uh, guy who was a nanai. And then um, it was almost the middle of the day, 11, 15 in the morning. And at that time, I felt so tired because it was so hot, like the April um, season, like this one, very hot in the middle of summer, April. So um, I was, I realized I had to stop because how we know, and then we were looking for some place for where we can rest. But you know, those part in the woods were are all grasses, not so much trees. So even if we wanted to rest, we cannot find any shade of a tree or any place where we can really rest. Until uh, I was looking for really a place, it's a small hut, kamay ng matay, kamay kamay tubo. So I was forced to suggest to Nami, let's rest the day to So when I told her to let's go, it was just like, uh, like, no one kilometer. So we walk and then we enter that small path. And then when we enter that small path, uh, there was a person there. That when I entered, I was so surprised because he was talking, talking to himself. You know, I So it was maybe uh, not the usual person. So um, since I could not speak to him, or of course, I was also not a woman, but my point is that I wanted to just sit there under that small hut so that I can rest. And then when I sat, I was trying to talk to him, but he was not answering, and he was still talking to himself. Gave, gave me something. 
out of pure generosity, perhaps charity. That experience reminded me of God always being present. When sometimes we limit the very presence of God because of our selfishness, because of our self-centeredness, people who offer themselves their love, their generosity, their kindness to us reminds us God is alive, God is present. So we are invited, brothers and sisters, to view resurrection from the other side, not always asking, what can I gain? If I give you Jesus, what can I gain? You know what? Jesus was explaining, everything has to happen. He has to suffer, he has to die. Of course, he will resurrect, he will overcome death. And that is how we can even our encounter with God. If even we celebrate Easter every year after one week, Easter or but then we do not change the mindset and we do not change our hearts, the encounter of Jesus is very limited. And sometimes perhaps we don't experience him at all. We just join the babies. So about the happy devotion. But what Jesus was really challenging was that his disciples should be converted, that their hearts and their minds will be open to the presence of God. It's not just about themselves. It's about how can we glorify the Lord? Because everything that has happened to him is to glorify God. Everything Jesus did is not about himself. It is to save my time. So if Jesus is truly alive, when we open our hearts and go beyond the thinking of, ah, what's in it for me? How can I do this? But then we think, Lord, how can I glorify you? And how can we, how can I be Jesus, an instrument for salvation of the world? That is what we can pray for. And so my brothers and sisters, Yes, we struggle to really encounter the Lord. So as the disciples, it's not always easy up to now. Yet we are invited our hearts. We have to open more our hearts and our minds and fully look at the resurrection always from the perspective of God. God is always thinking of us. God is always loving us. God is always giving himself to us. So on our part, if we do things that way, we will see Jesus alive. We will see Him everywhere and with everyone. Amen. Palimong magpindo. Pasalimong magpindo.